Hello everyone, welcome to automation community. In this section, we are going to see about PLC operating modes in CX programmer. Before entering into the topic, kindly like and subscribe our YouTube channel. So, PLC operating modes in CX programmer. We have multiple modes in the programming software. So, let's see one by one. So, the first one is programming mode. So, obviously, to, to write the program, we have to be in this programming mode, right? Whenever you are creating a project and uh, you want to, uh, you know, write a logic means you have to be in the program mode. So, this is used, this is also used to transfer the program from your software to PLC, right? And you cannot able to see the output in the programming mode and uh, you can able to force a bit or coil. So, forcing is possible, but you cannot able to see the exact output of the logic you have created in this program mode. So, the first mode is program mode and the next one we are having is a debug mode. So, in the debug mode, you can able to, uh, you know, uh, check the IO operation and program execution. If any error, suppose... You, are, you have written 100 lines, 100 uh, runs of, uh, you know, logic you have done. So, after that, you want to check if you are having any error or anything you have, you have missed out means you can go to the debug mode. It is like a compiler and you can able to uh, see where you have done the fault before entering into the next stage. I mean, before entering into the exact execution, you can enter into the debug mode to check whether you have missed out something or any error in downloading the program from your software to PLC is there. If it is not there, you can go on, go on. You can move on to the next mode. So, debug mode is nothing but a compiler mode. So, the next one we are having is the monitor mode. So, the program is executed and IO operation is actually active. You can change uh, data from one place to another and uh, editing is also possible in this monitor mode and we have next is run mode so once you have done the program and you have compiled it and you have also monitoring ready to monitor means you can go on to the run mode where this is like a final testing so what and all logic you have done you are going to see the result in the run mode only if the plc software is not in the run mode you cannot able to see the updated or uh, uh, you know the current status of output and uh, in this mode you cannot able to change or edit a program so this is only to view what exactly happened happening right and uh, the changing is um, telling for the outputs so in the run mode you can able to uh, you know uh, change the program fine so it is like once you have done the program and compile it, you can able to see the output in the run mode. Suppose if you are using in the simulation version. So, I will show you in the next slide. We have one more mode which is called a simulation mode. So, without if you are not having a PLC but you want to check the logic means you can use the simulation mode. So, in this simulation mode, if, if your PLC is in run condition, you can able to force your input to see the status of output. So, this online editing is possible in the run mode, but before that, that have to be in the simulation mode. So, I will show you this once we are entering into the exact programming. So, the first mode is program mode, debug mode, monitor mode, run mode and simulation mode. So, that is it about programming modes in CX supervisor. I will meet you in the next session. Before that, kindly like, like and subscribe our YouTube channel. Thank you.